Hi there. Welcome to PPP Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol video. In this video, we'll give an overview of CHAP, explain the various stage, some packet format, and option. So CHAP Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol is used to periodically verify the identity of the peer using a process called three-way handshake. So this is done upon initial link establishment. So we'll go through three-way handshake. What is it? So we have authenticator and we have peer. So authenticator will send a challenge message the task asked peer is to respond with one way hands response with value that will be calculated using one way hash function. The authenticator checks the response against its own calculation of the expected hash value. If the value match, then the authentication is acknowledged. Otherwise, the connection should be terminated. So this process from step one to step three will perform during a random interval. Packet format, so it is encapsulated over PPP data link frame with the hex code C223 challenge hand six authentication protocol. You see the packet format code of the CHAP packet. This is the following structure code identifier length and data in code we have challenge response success and failure so identifier is used with the matching the challenges and the responses so this is the one packet flow like uh, you can see a point to point protocol uh, the protocol is used challenge handshake authentication protocol c223 uh, in this the data the data payload is uh, the challenge the code is challenge and the identifier is one and the data what is got is we have sent the data challenge with the value 41528c1 ending with ad so on the response side uh, it will it will send a value that will be calculated with uh, one way hash function uh, the Response the code you can see is two identifier is one. So the name is R1. Like this, uh, you see the previous packet, the data name is R1. So the packet name is R1. Identifier is one. Identifier is one. So when we got this uh, value, we will calculate and match whether we got the same. If everything is goes fine then we will send a success and uh, with the identifier one is uh, got success so this is the typical flow of CHAP protocol uh, there's other related protocol PPP PPP OE LCP and and PAP in this channel so don't forget to watch this and this CHAP is defined in RFC 1994 for more detailed implementation you can always refer thanks for watching the video if you have any question do let me know i will try to answer over the comment thank you